Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sorry I've been <laughs> missing in action again. Um, maybe I should just start calling myself missing in action Lisa. Um, it's always has to do with computers or software or whatever. So, um, hopefully you'll see this video. I don't know what's going to happen until I go and try to upload it or I'm going to try to keep it short so I don't have to do um, editing at least but as far as I know I still have to render uh, the video before I can upload it um, but I'll find out so a couple of years ago I did a couple of videos of my craft room uh, and this is an update I have added something that I am so excited about and that's this works uh, workstation you see right here I call it a craft island um, and what it is is two expedits from IKEA and it's topped with two tabletops and my husband had to do some modifications to attach the tabletops to the expedits um, but it worked out eventually <laughs> um, then I'm not going to get into you know the complication like how three of the corners worked fine and then the fourth one decided not to work quite as well and he actually kind of broke my table a little bit but um, it'll do for now and it was an inexpensive tabletop so um, I can always replace it later but for now it's going to stay just the way it is so right now I'm standing uh, in front of my storage room and I will not show you that because well one it's a mess and <laughs> it's kind of a it's a storage room it's got a, a upright deep freezer in it and an old refri refrigerator because for some reason we can't seem to live with one refrigerator like every other family um, in our defense we do live pretty far out of town so there's no quick uh, you know quick running to the store or whatever so again I said I was going to try to keep this short so I'm going to try not to talk so much I'm not going to show you everything um, you can go look at some of my old videos and, and see some of the things um, a lot of the room is still the same I did change um, I was trying to figure out better ways to keep my paper than I was so I ended up taking what was holding all my magazines and putting it in here yesterday and I put all my papers in there um, I use my Stampin' Up! cardstock a lot and it's the basis for practically you know every card and sometimes uh, elements on the card so I needed it to be where I could see it and get it easily I tried um, let me zoom around here I don't want to make you dizzy so I'm trying to go slow but right behind me over there those two top cabinets um, I used to keep the paper in there I have some uh, paper holders and it just because I used the paper so much that really didn't work for me so um, I think this will work for now um, I've seen some really cool systems that I I wish I could get but I don't even know where I would put them in this room honestly at this point so anyway I put it there and I moved uh, my well it's one of my marker stations <laughs> over on this end over here so I'm gonna try to um, keep some kind of order to this uh, that little shelf there was in the other video and uh, this setup is pretty much the same except now I have tons more of these are all well a lot <laughs> I won't say all a lot of my retired stamping up stamps and I'm having a hard time I tried to pull out some I wanted to part with so that I could do like a, a BOGO sale but um, there were more that I wanted to keep than <laughs> than I wanted to sell so I'll have to go through them again, but you can see that's uh, 
two layers deep down there and that shelf right there. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you want me to go through these little baskets, just leave a comment and I will. But I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to keep this short and it already feels like it's too long. So, my light, hot light is where it was before. And I moved my, uh, my inks on to my right side uh, so that I could put the paper you know the magazine rack there with the papers in it and I'm liking it for now it'll do and I moved my Big Shot over here originally I had it between my two crickets um, I use this a lot a lot a lot because you know it's easy to just grab it and a die or a framelit or whatever and whip up a card real quick. Um, my Cricuts and other die cutting machines, you know, they're more for larger projects. Not so much when I want something, you know, really quick. And down there, I gotta pull these out. And uh, these are, even though this says Copic, <laughs> It's not Copic. What it is are all wonderful blendabilities. And I like having them in this case because I can take them with me all over the house or just take them over to the desk. And I didn't have room in my um, other marker holders for that many markers. So there are my other ones. Um, I'm going to have to admit that I like them all. Um, you know, I'm not going to part with my Copics or my Spectrum Noir. I would say that if the Stampin' Up! ones had come out sooner, that's probably all I would have now. They're a lot easier, you know, especially if you're like new to alcohol inks. Um, and I'm sorry, that's not what this video was supposed to be about, but since I pulled them out, um, if you're new to alcohol inks, they're wonderful because they come in sets of three. You get your light, medium, and dark all in one set. You know, you don't have to, um, you don't have to be concerned that you're missing a shade, you know, for your shading. Whereas I've spent a ton of money, and if any of you have used Copics, you know, um, a ton of money on these, and I still don't have, you know, um, some of the transitions that I'd like to have and at this point I don't know that I'm actually going to buy any more. I thought I would but by the time all is said and done you have spent a ton of money. I don't even want to say. Um, let's just say it'll be double what I have there and that's a lot. And then these, um, you know, they're a lot less expensive than a Copic so I was able to get the whole set um, I go to this cool thing that uh, Crafter's Companion does around Christmas time. It's a holiday, uh, it's like a holiday warehouse sale and party. and It's a lot of fun. So I got them all there. They always have good deals. Um, so I did that. And then we came out with ours. I'm going to open this again. And, you know, I've been able to get the whole entire set. And I just... I love them. I have been playing with them so much. Um, been wanting to do videos for you guys for a lot of things that I've done, but um, I've been having problems, like I said, and it's, it's, it was very discouraging, so I couldn't even bring myself to do any recordings for a while. So um, I just thought I'd try to get back into it by sharing my craft room, and, <laughs> and now I'm running my mouth about these Copic, or not Copic, these Stampin' Up! blendabilities because. I, oh my gosh, when I found out we were getting them, I couldn't get my hands on them fast enough. And they're just, they're so juicy. I don't have streaks or anything. I just love it. And I'm not that great of a colorist. I really need to practice more, but they make it so easy for me. It's unbelievable. Anyway, you should check it out. Um, but back to what this video is actually supposed to be about. So this is the same. 
and uh, you can go back um, if I can figure it out I will link to the first uh, craft room video I did and then there's an update and the update was simply um, putting in these those cabinets way over there across the room and there's another set behind those doors and that's my laundry area um, the cool thing is that you know I, I also have an area that when I do have events here I have somewhere to put food and drinks and I actually have a coffee maker over there um, we'll peek in there just a little bit I guess later um, but um, not too closely <laughs> There's dirty towels in my sink. So um, all my DSPs, Stampin' Up! DSPs, I keep, you know, I try to keep all my Stampin' Up! stuff uh, generally together in the same part of the room. So I will keep my papers, like, you know, my designer series papers, um, all in these shelves here and over there. And then I keep like my solid card card stocks here. Um, I think I'm gonna like having my big shot here because I do a lot of my cutting and with it on this this table right here. So and I hope I'm not making you dizzy. I'm really trying not to. And at the same time I feel like I need to hurry up and move along. But anyway, so I put all my I have these are my um, long my extra long uh, plates and a couple of mats and then there's my magnetic plate I mean um, magnet um, platform magnetic platform I love this thing that was another thing that when I found out it was coming out I couldn't wait to get my hands on and it has been just a wonderful wonderful tool I do have a tip for you another side note um, if you find that your magnets are kind of jumping around or whatever um, I notice like my plates they get they curve and I just flip them over and uh, you know constantly flip over those plates so you can get them to flatten out and they work better that way and then there's my regular one down there uh, with the two plates on it okay and behind that door is my office and that is my next project but I am out of money so it's going to be a while before I can make my office nice and you know a nice pretty space to be in um, I love that a little over the door shoe rack as you can see I have all kind of miscellaneous things in there and then here are some of my st stamping up stamps I had to clean off that shelf took all the retired ones off so I have room for <laughs> more stamps and then up there just you know little different little things that I've made um, and then here uh, I have some of my wooden uh, retired Stampin' Up! stamps and I have way more than you can see here it's crazy you know, the stamps I have and I want to use them all <laughs> and I keep uh, my some of my punches in here I love this box but I won't tell you why <laughs> people who know me will know why I love that box uh, and then there's some more of my punches and then these three baskets I keep my my folders and my framelits uh, the framelits are in alphabetical order and I like to uh, print up the pictures so I can see what the framelit looks like. Okay, and like I said, I'm not going to go into detail because this would have to be a longer video for me to, you know, pull out everything and show you everything. And, um, that'll probably cause more problems <laughs> with me trying to get it on YouTube so well, I'll just leave it at that so there are my dies my little embellishment uh, lazy Susan thing here I'm stamping up I actually think I need another one of those I need another ink one for that matter and then I have some 
some of my old style or actually that's all of my old style I think Stampin' Up punches and there are two of my crickets And so I was telling you, let me show you this. I will show you this. This is where I used to keep my papers. And I have two over here and then two on the other cabinet. Um, but, you know, as much as I, like I said, as much as I used the cardstock, that just wasn't working for me. And so, some more punches. These are retired. Oops. Yeah, there we go. And I have some of some of our cases and up there are some of my uh, kits, my paper pumpkin kits that I haven't finished. Sometimes I will do a one card. Sometimes I do all the cards or whatever. Our last one, oh, I forgot to point that out. In our last one, we had uh, five cards and five little gift boxes. It's so cute. Let me show you that. It's really cute, but I only did one card and one gift box so far. And those are adorable. Okay, so that leads into the house. So it's nice. I can close it up and uh, separate it, you know, from the rest of the house. And then these are my imagined cartridges. And um, solution ones, and then I got this ultimate uh, creative ultimate sampler with a bunch of DVDs. So more papers. <laughs> I always tell my friends, "Oh, please come and play in my craft room." I could never use all those papers in a lifetime. So I'm just gonna open this briefly. So you see here, um, I have a little area, like I said, that I can put snacks and things like that. So I like that. Or I can just close this off altogether if I don't want anyone to see in there. So that's really cool. And some more storage. <laughs> and more storage. I like this because I can wheel it wherever I want to. And then here we're back at my, um, what I'm calling a craft island. You see here I have my Stampin' Up! ribbon. Uh, my guillotine cutter, Stampin' Up! cutter. Um, I have in there my cinch, one of my Zyrons. Um, that has all kind of different things <laughs> for doing um, you know doing projects mod podge uh, different uh, sprays for for sealing some gloves alcohol you know stuff like that and here I have some stamps they are not stamping up and my six by six paper packs and that's all I have, uh, six by six, and I have like three eight by eights. So, for whatever reason, even though I'm a card maker, I mostly buy 12 by 12 paper packs. I mean, you know, you can make a bunch of cards with that, so. And then who, who knows when you'll want to actually do a layout. And then that's just some things that I made using my digital studio. I have a video for that. Where you can make a whole gift set of stuff that coordinates. So, and let's see, tissue. That's exciting. <laughs> another, um, another one of my Zyrons. I have three different sizes. In this cute box, I love this little box. My son. Uh, one of my sons. My youngest son, Joseph. He gave me this. I want to say it was for Christmas. Um, and one of these days I'll actually get me a calligraphy table and get to work on this but he bought me the book and then he bought me this adorable little chest so I put all the little things that he bought me 
um, my pens. And then he bought me inks there and there. So I keep it all in this, this desk. Oops. He also bought me a little uh, paint palette to go with it, but it won't fit in there. So I like to keep it all together. Is that not darling? I love that chest. I don't know. Maybe I love it even more because it's from him. So let's see. And then I just, I feel like I could never have enough workspace. So I am just so excited about this. This is, it. Um, when all is said and done, it's slightly under six by six. Um, these tabletops are like 59 inches and I forget what the fraction was, but you can go to Ikea and find out uh, that. So, and then I put my uh, caddy over here in the center. It used to be over where the big shot is now. So, um, yeah, I, I think I think that's good. Again, like I said, if you if you want to see more details about anything, um, you know what's in drawers <laughs> and how I organize things in more detail um, just leave a comment and um, you know I'll go over it or maybe when I have a, a different uh, setup as far as what I'm using for my filming and editing and all that maybe I will do a more detailed video but right now um, I'm just hoping I get this up to you guys <laughs> It's been so long, and, and I'm uh, one of my precious friends, Sherry Wolf. She has a YouTube channel. Um, she's like one of one of the most encouraging uh, people, and that follow me right now. Um, oh, where was I going with that? <laughs> oh. I was just saying that, you know, it's just, it's been so uh, frustrating just dealing with um, things not working like they should as far as when I added something. In the last video I put up, uh, I had a follower tell me, or subscriber, sorry, tell me that um, the sound went out of it like halfway through and then I went to listen to it and sure enough, halfway through the sound for whatever reason, I have no idea why and I haven't made a video since because it was just one thing after another after another you know um, my husband keeps buying me PC or laptops um, and he's like you can never use up all that memory but video takes a lot of memory and video editing takes a lot of memory so I've been telling him for years I, I need a Mac um, long before I started doing videos um, I used to I dabble in music, <laughs> nothing important, but uh, I use a program called Asset Pro and, and it always froze on my PC. And I have just observed the in industry, um, you know, anyone that is involved in music or any type of creative type of uh, venue, you know, uh, graphics, um, animation, uh, music, I don't know if I said that already or not. Um, the movie industry they're all using Macs and I don't think it's just because you know that's the thing to do and you can ask my family I'm not one of those who is one to follow trends I just want what works so I'm willing to try it um, but who knows when I'm going to be able to get that right because they're so stinking expensive and uh, we can't do that right now so um, yeah you know I even asked my daughter she's a uh, graphic artist, uh, she studied animation, and I asked her about a good program to use for editing, and she told me After Effects. Well, <laughs> um, that's not cheap, and it's <laughs> it's not cheap, what can I say? I can't do that, so anyway, um, I'm sure this video has already gone way longer than I want it to. Um, hopefully you'll get to see it, I'll actually get it up. And hopefully you enjoyed it. So, um, you know, leave a comment. Um, 
words of encouragement, questions, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Um, it's been a while. So I'm, I'm just, I just want to thank you. I thank you so much. I thank my new subscribers always. I thank those of you that have hung in there with me um, over the years. A lot of times, you know, I'll post a lot or upload videos a lot. And then, and then, you know, months will go by when I don't. And um, it is never my intention to, to be gone for long periods of time but it happens what can I say um, so uh, again thanks for watching